thereof. 14 mares over two and a half miles and 11 flights in the Irish Stallion Farms EBF Honeysuckle Mares Novus Hurdle. First grade one of the festival. And it is Princess Zoe, the grey mare, disputing the early running with Harmonium Maker. Two off the rail is Jatara. They're tracked by what could have been and how could do to Bert. Not far behind them is Ava Grace and the Night and Day and Astro Diamond, who's in mid-division in these early stages as they come to jump the second flight on the approach to the straight, where the leader took a dive, Harmonia Maker, but survived the blunder. It leads Princess Zoe Jatara with the nose band fourth, what could have been, then how could do Tibet and Night and Day and Ava Grace and Ashro Diamond and Riga Choice next with a lot of joy and God glory and Magical Zoe, Hauturier, a position in front of her stable companion, Pink in the Park, as they turn in for their final two miles in flights three and four. Out in front is Harmonia Maker, extending her lead to four to five lengths of a Princess Zoe, disputing the third place, what could have been in Jatara, the Neva Grace, and Halka du Tabert, and Ashro Diamond, and Night and Day, and obviously on the inside in the two-tone green colors, and then a lot of joy in Riga Choice, flight number four, the last one next time. And over, nicely clear of the field, Harmonia Maker, and Luke Dempsey with Princess Zoe in second place, Danny Mullins. On the rail is what could have been, and Aidan Kelly, and then Jatara and Sean O'Keefe. Ava Grace follows them with a couple of lengths to al Tabert, and a lot of joy in Ashro Diamond racing together. On the inside is Night and Day, then Magical Zoe. Next, Riga Choice with Got Glory alongside the final couple of Tourier and Pink in the Park. Making the run uphill along the side of the track to the next two flights. Little changes in the order of running as it's Harmonia Maker cementing a sizable advantage over Princess Zoe and then Jatara, what could have been an Ava Grace next. Then Alka du Tabert, a lot of joys on the outside of Ashro Diamond, the Solarina winner here on her last start as they continue on the ascend to the next flight, bringing them to the halfway stage. Harmonia Maker, clouting that in second, was Princess Zoe. Harmonia Maker is falling back to the pack. Princess Zoe leads them with what could have been Jatara Eva Grace, Alcadu Tabert next, then a lot of joy in Ashro Diamond, creeping into contention as Magical Zoe, the night and day in Riga Choice, and Oturier at the rear of the field, both got glory and pink in the park. Ten furlongs out, they have five flights left to jump. And the Grade One Irish Stallion Farms EBF Honeysuckle Mares Novus Hurdle, with the first prize of 59,000 euro, and continuing in front, Harmonia Maker from Fr Princess Zoe, who continues to give chase as she's done from the drop of the flag. Then Jatara, what could have been, is on the inside. They're followed by Alcadu Tibert and Ava Grace and Ashro Diamond and Night and Day. Racing on at the final seven furlongs with four flights to jump. Harmonia Maker followed by Princess Zoe. And then Jatara and what could have been. No changes in the leading four. Then Alcadu Tabert, who's never been too far off them. Then Ava Grace and a lot of joy in Night and Day and Ashro Diamond and Riga Choice. Tracked by Magical Zoe and then Arturier in Pink in the Park. Relegates got glory to be the back marker. They're very tightly grouped. They've just passed their point of departure. Six furlongs to go and four to jump. Harmonia Maker. Followed by Princess Zoe, who left her hind ones in it. Improving in between them is what could have been. Then Jatara, night and day on the inside. And a bumping match with Riga Choice. Then Alcadu Tabert, a lot of joy. Ava Grace on the outside. Then Astro Diamond, Magical Zoe. Three flights left to jump. Harmonia Maker joined by what could have been. Then Princess Zoe, Ava Grace on the outside of Jatara, followed by Night and Day who hit it hard. Halkadu Tabert next with Riga Choice improving along with Stable Companion, Magical Zoe, and then Ash Road Diamond and Pink in the Park. What could have been a shot to the front and skip. Three, four lengths clear on the turn into the straight. From Halkadu to Bert, closing lot of joy. Magical Zoe's on the outside of Jatara, then Riga Choice. Coming into it is Astro Diamond, then Pink.
pink in the park in Hauturier, straightening for the final two flight. And it is what could have been an Aiden Kelly gone for the honeysuckle mares. They're clear from Astro Diamond, who's making a move on the outside of Magical Zoe. Then comes Lot of Joy, the second last. What could have been the leader from Astro Diamond, who's chiseling away at the deficit, has it down out of a couple of lengths. And on the near side, Astro Diamond looks to have plenty up her sleeve, jumps to the front at the last from what could have been a faller, an ugly looking fall for Riga Choice, but it's Ashro Diamond further enhancing her fairy house statistics as she wins the honeysuckle mares for Paul Townend and Willie Mullins by five. Second, what could have been, who's run a blinding race. Back in third, pink in the park, then Hauturier, Magical Zoe and Lot of Joy. And glad to report both Riga Choice and rider Reddy just before we hear from ruby you might see if david will come in and have a quick chat with us david what a day so far you've won every race you've had a runner in so far haven't you yeah it's great gary yeah thanks be to god yeah i know that most of them are running well so happy with that the highlight i think has to be astro diamond how impressed we have what she did yeah today. hugely impressive um she traveled super and jumped super and you know she won really well so really delighted with her did you expect a performance like that from her not really it's hard to know what to expect but it's a great one so you don't really expect it to, to, to be that easy you know but um I don't know, maybe we're just looking at it, maybe missing Cheltenham might have been a blessing in disguise in hindsight, you know. Such a confident ride from Paul. Were you as happy as he clearly was to yeah, let no, the leader go? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, she has plenty of pace and, and she does jump well. So um, once Paul is confident, then I'd be, I'd be happy enough for that. I'm sure she'll roll on to punches down. Nick Rocket was a bit of a revelation there, wasn't he, in the last room? He was just saying a bit of a sleeper at home. Yeah, he's a horse we always thought would improve throughout the season, but obviously one that probably wanted fences next year. Um, and normally we wouldn't go this this early um, or this late in the season sorry jumping hurdles with him but he thought he'd be a, definitely a, ch a chaser for the future um, but he's improving away at home and definitely well, again wasn't probably expecting that performance thought he'd run well but um, he definitely looks someone to look forward to when he jumps fences another one will be on the punches town ticket double N of Cork as well no doubt about the highlight there I'm sure the locals are absolutely cock a hoop after back us on one again yeah, three, what a horse three in Cork actually yeah. is it three now sorry I'm not, I'm not able to keep up A1 and back us in mm. yeah. yeah obviously local horse for Cork um, Listen, what an amazing horse he is. He's 12 now. He's had lots and lots of issues, but I think he's won his last eight or nine, isn't it? Yeah. Something like that. So if, if, if we if we, if we had lots of backers, we'd be going well. Great stuff. Now, just give us a word on the two coming up here in the next. Hercule de Soy. Yeah, Hercule obviously had a break. He's, he's definitely a horse better on better ground, so we missed the middle of the winter with him looking for better ground. And Hunter Jarn went to Cheltenham, ran okay in, in the county, but you'd just be slightly concerned about where some of the Cheltenham horses have run so far today. Mm. But... Um, Without that run, you'd be giving him a good chance, obviously. And David, just finally a word on the Willow Warm Gold Cup later on. You've got a couple in there, obviously, that did go to Chelham, including your, the apple of your eye. I yeah, appreciate always, it. Listen, obviously, yeah, plenty in there again, plenty with chances. Um, it's going to be a competitive race. Obviously, Mr. Potter is a strong favourite as well, um, but he's been to Chelham, so it'll be interesting to see. Will we um, see the real appreciated today, do you think? I, I hope so, but listen, um, he's in good form at home, we think, anyway. And, you know, I think the trip won't be an issue for him, and uh, he's there definitely with his chance. Great stuff, David. Thanks a lot. Wish you well the rest of the day, David Casey. Let's go back to Anthony. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.